What's good, everybody? It's your boy Showtime. Appreciate everybody checking in. Y'all already know what time it is. So, man, I want to talk about this, man. Um, Angel Reese, man. She's over there in Paris right now. Then she had took a trip. Um, she's talking about it on social media. She um posted a WNBA All Star photo dump. Now the photo dump, we got a lot of pages, man. First of all, look, she, man, I like, man. I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. I love the WNBA, man. These these women all stick together, you know. Every time somebody posts, they all in each other pictures. They liking it. They compliment each other. Like this is all love right here. This is a beautiful thing, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like man, like um, you know, it's good to see women all come together, you know, under one umbrella and. You know what I'm saying? Celebrate each other, you know. Uh, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just great. I like it. Yeah. So she got, she got this picture right here. Of course, she showed the picture of, you know, let's say All Star Barbie Part One. You know, she was styling and profiling. She got this picture right here. sharing a lot of pictures hold on i need to go back i need to go back actually oh i'm on cap actually it's a lot of okay so i'm i'm going too fast y'all let me slow down all right here we go i pressed the wrong button so it's the all-star she shared a jersey by the way y'all if y'all know where i can get that jersey from send me the link bro i gotta get these jerseys man these he thing fly. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I love them all star jerseys. Uh, 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 Derica. Derica Hammy. Derica Hammy also in the uh, comment section. You know, that's like Angel Reese. I noticed something, man. Angel Reese, like a little sister to these veterans, man. That's how they treat her. Like, she got good rapport with uh, all the WNBA veterans. You know, I love to see that, you know. Um, it's like she came in, you know, with that kind of, with everybody just wrapping their arms around. It's like everybody see a, a piece of them in Angel Reese. You feel what I'm saying? So then, you know, Diamond Shield. Salute to Diamond, Diamond Shield. She showed up to the All-Star game. Her and uh, Michaela, they came up there to support their teammate, you know. Oh, that's love right there. And you got side crazy. She's so funny. You know. One of the funniest people in the WNBA. She be she be fly as hell too. You know, you see right here, the photo bomb continue. Congratulations, Angel Reese. You know, her and, hey, this one of my favorite ones right here. Her and Leisha Gray. I thought this was cute. This is one of my favorite ones, you know. Them on the benches, uh, laughing, smiling with each other. This love right here. Then here we go. Here we go right here. Angel Reese. Now, this one right here, man, just going to change a lot of things, you know. Um, you know, um, man, look, this stuff, man, it, everything happened on God's time, y'all. You know, it was a matter of time. Y'all see what was the real deal, the real deal Holyfield, which is old Angel Reese. Um, man, she showed love to Caitlin Clark. By the way, this is something else y'all ain't know. I didn't even know this, right? So apparently they had a conversation on the bench, right? As you can see right there. Um I know that bucket went viral. I haven't checked my phone yet, but my phone blowing up. Reset. Clark even said on the bench, you know how many people are happy right now? Question mark. I was like, man, I already know. I'm already knowing. So I'm just going, I'm going to um, go see the video. 
I'm gonna see. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to see the video. Go see the video everywhere. That what she said. She said, I'm, "So I'm gonna go see. I'm going to go see the video everywhere." That what she said. That's exactly what she said. Yep. There we go. Now, um, man, it's good times, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all something. This is gonna, you know, I, I had to go back and watch the mother All Star games to put in my mind, you know, to put the kind of put in my mind frame how special that moment was for that year. But I don't want to disrespect no other year, but falls like me watching this year is probably the best All Star game. In WNBA history. Now I don't, don't want to sound too crazy. I'm just talking about my opinion for what falls, but I saw for what falls. But I saw now. If you've been a WNBA fan for twenty plus years, you are gonna disagree, and I and I'm you rightfully so because you've seen every single thing. So I'm talking about for me personally, the the ones that I saw, I've seen a couple of them, but this year was my first time actually covering. The All Star break, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, man, this is special. Now, Kathy Engelberg, she says this was the best All Star game ever. The the WNBA All All Star break, she said, was the best ever. Um, we all know the WNBA draft this year had the most ratings. Y'all, Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, man, they are game changers. You got to respect it. You know, that's, you know, this, this is what we was all hoping for, right? Now, One thing about me, I have always liked Caitlin Clark. <clears throat> I've been singing her praise many times. I never had a problem with a uh, problem with Caitlin Clark personally. It's all basketball. Now, her fanboys, they're not off the hook for me though. I'm not done with fanboys. Paul as Caitlin as Clark, you know, we know. She's a great player. But don't you ever in your life forget. Well, y'all be making these, making up these conversations about old oh, Caitlin Clark did this, she did that. True that. Y'all better stop leaving out Angel Reese. Stop doing it, bro. Stop doing it. This whole All Star break proved it. It proved it. Now, Clark, like I said, Caitlin Clark got the machine behind. Her. We understand. See, one thing I'm not gonna deny. I'm not. I'm not here to argue with argue about facts she's popular the most popular player she she got the biggest when you got that machine behind you though bro, i'm telling y'all you not it look it's hard to beat the machine so you got the you got the uh espn you got everybody singing your praise <clears throat> you know um she's gonna get the most attention but to help grow this game, it took more than Caitlin Clark. It took Ainge Reese also. She been there. She been here for the whole time. Most of these people around here, they wasn't they wasn't even watching WNBA or women women basketball until they saw Ainge Reese blocking people with one with one hand on the shoe. Let's keep it real. A lot of folks, I remember this when it when it first happened. I remember the very next day going to the barbershop. A lot of people talking about that. And within two months after that, before they won the championship, I'm talking about before, I saw Angel Reese LSU jerseys. When they won a championship, I saw more and more and more and more people saying, man, I love Angel Reese. Man this, man that. So now if you go out there hour in in the in the Midwest, they were saying the same thing about Caitlin Clark. 
So what I'm trying to say, tell you is this. However, you got to whatever player got you to watch women's sports. That's a, whether it's Angel Reese or Caden Clark, whatever one got you watching women's sports, great. Just know there's somebody out there that fell in love with the game because of the opposite one you pick. You might if Angel Reese got you watching the game like me, somebody out there. Start watching because of Caden Clark. These two gonna be tied together for years. You gonna be it's gonna be people around here still arguing about who's better, who's this, who's that, and that's that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But they're gonna be sharing all stars together. It's not gonna be one. Uh, it's not gonna be. Angel Reese in the All-Star game, Caden Clark not, Caden Clark in the All-Star game, Angel Reese not. They're going to both be in the All-Star game. I guarantee you they're going to be starting. They're both going to be starting next year. Watch. Both of them going to be starting next year, probably. Probably so, depending on how the format goes and all that. They're going to be playing together. They're going to be MVP conversation together. Hell, I'll, it look, if they end up in the finals together, that's going to be the most watched finals in history. So my point of saying this, when you say one, can't you the other one, the other one there too. But it's really not the Angel. See, here's the thing though. It's not really the Angel Reese fans I be seeing have struggling to admit this. I don't see many Angel Reese fans struggling to admit this. It be the Kevin Clark fan boys. And y'all get mad when I point this shit out. A hit dog hollers, homie. A hit dog gonna holler. If you come in my comment section crying and mad because I'm speaking and calling y'all out, that's fine. Just don't watch. Because you're not gonna get what you listen. You got not gonna get what you're looking for. You're not if you ain't <coughs> you ain't come here to if you come over here, you're gonna hear the truth. You gonna, I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel. I'm not faking it. I'm not cutting it dry, none of that. Ain't no 50 50 business over there. I'm in the hurt business. If I, if I got to hurt a couple feelings, tell the truth, it is what it is. Now, you might think I'm a Angel Reese fanboy. That's fine. But guess what? One thing you can't say is I put I put other women down to uplift her. I disrespect her coach to uplift her. I disrespect her teammates to uplift her. <clears throat> you never hear me talk like that. You never hear me talk like that. <clears throat> and so we on the even playing field. Oh, we're gonna get that in the even playing field in this community. We already gonna be done. My job is not finished yet with you fan boys. <clears throat> I still got more work to do. Now it's good to see them two on the same page, but I'm not done with you boys. Y'all will be holding accountable around here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. See, I like Kaylin Clark game. I like her. I don't like the fan boys. So. Stop coming to my comment session crying. Stop coming to my channel. Think you're going to hear the propaganda, the ESPN, and all these other people putting out by Kevin Clark. You're not going to get it home. Sorry. It don't work like that over here. So get in the comment session. Light it up. Salute to all my people out there. Hey, man. Let's get busy, man. Let's get busy. Let's do things. Let's do positive things today, bro. Um, Make sure y'all... Have a productive day. More content going to be coming out. Stay positive. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. Just know you can do all things through Christ. Homie. Always keep that in mind.
Maru.